Good afternoon, my name is Ruth, and this is Fay Hollow Homestead. Today, I am doing battle with the voles. Now, I have Juicy Fruit Gum, which I got recommended to uh, on the comments yesterday, that Juicy Fruit, you chew up the gum, and then you stick it into the hole, that should help. I got recommend the pinwheel, sticking that near the holes, and the vibrations of the pinwheel flying will will irritate them and drive them away. And I also got some Molvax, Molmax. I got Molmax, and I'm gonna be spreading those granules over the garden. Now, Molmax is organic. It is not toxic. All it is is castor oil, um, granulized into uh, with a certain type of dirt that penetrates the ground easily and so it'll bring that castor oil down into the into the vole holes and apparently voles hate castor oil and so castor oil is something that I am totally okay using in my garden uh, I can eat something after spreading these immediately I can uh, my pets it's okay around pets they're not gonna get poisoned by it so uh, I mean I I took castor oil when I was pregnant. Okay, so it's time for war because these bulls are not winning. No way, no how, it is not happening. And I want my vegetable garden back. And so I'm gonna throw everything that I got at it. You guys send me some more comments or suggestions about what I can do for these bulls and I will do it and I will try it as long as it's organic and it's not gonna hurt my veggies, my soil or my animals or my kids. <laughs> so. Let's get started. Okay, so let me tell you. I have a sonic device that I put into my garden where the worst of the vole damage was. And I put that there three months ago. And well, we can all see how that went. But also, not only did it not work, kind of feel like they're congregating around that area specifically. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. And that just makes me feel like that doesn't work at all. But I'm not going to take it out just in case it does some little good. If it does some little good, then it's worth it. A lot of little goods add up to a really big little good. Really big good? Just really big good. Okay, so I've got that. I've had my girls chewing gum for me all day. We've put it on a plate. I won't show you that because that's kind of disgusting. I have five of these beautiful and actually very patriotic uh, little flywheels, which is fun because 4th of July is coming up. We got the Mole Max. I kind of feel like that's my big gun. But I'm, I'm really hopeful for the gum and the pinwheels too. So a lot of little goods. Maybe the Molmax does a little bit. Maybe the pinwheels do a little bit. Maybe the gum does a little bit. Maybe that sonic thing does a little bit. I also had these like gas bomb things that I put into the holes. And instead of, uh, it doesn't like kill them. It just makes them really not like it was like, had like a sulfur smell like it was like eggs and like it was an organic thing as well like it was it was very um I don't do non-organic stuff in here like that's that's definitely not my my thing so uh I want to be able to eat my vegetables and fruits without necessarily having to wash them a lot I want to keep the microbiomes in my garden and the soil. I want to keep all the insects going. Um, I want it to just be safe. I want it to be safe. And this is how I'm going to do it. So, uh, it's time to go to war.
so while I'm out here, I'm harvesting some onions because, well, uh, well, they're ripe, but also I'm kind of checking. That's one of the better indicators of where the bowl holes are is um, picking up these onions and underneath you see that there's no bulb because they ate them. So I, I'm picking those up and then if I see that the top is laying down. So let me show you this. This is a ripe onion. You can tell onions are ripe when their tops lay down like this. So it is now time for me to pull this out and I've got myself a really nice looking onion. This one is good to go too. Now these are not the biggest onions in the world. That's okay. That is okay. Usually when I'm cooking, I don't use a full onion anyway. So one of the things that I can do that kind of saves me time is when I harvest the onions, I take this over the compost pile of weeds that I'm gonna that I'm cutting out and I and I cut the end off and then I cut the other end off and then I just take this into the house. Same thing on the other side. I'm only really, really harvesting what I'm gonna be using in the next couple days, so I don't need to leave them out to dry or anything like that. Also, I'm on my third pack of juicy fruit. Juicy fruit is my least favorite gum. I kind of want to throw up. Just a little bit. But it's worth it. The pain is worth it. Suck it up. Okay, so I'm done with all the gum. That was awful. It was so bad. These voles need to know how much my dedication is because I don't like gum at all. But my sweetheart of a mother-in-law picked a bunch of blueberries and put them on the, on the little table here so that I can have them to eat as a treat. Uh, when I'm done chewing the, gu the gum, yeah. Mmm. They are still warm from the sun. Mmm. That's really good stuff. Okay. I'm going to read the instructions on this uh, Molmax. See what I can do. The, uh, I cut back some of the, the flowering vegetables that I'm trying to get seeds from because I don't need that many seeds. Um, I just need one or two plants and they were kind of in the pathway and was making it difficult. A little bit uncomfortable for my kids to come through here and I just want them to be super happy, cozy, comfy when they come to the garden as much as possible. So, mm. Mm. I missed a hole. I'll get more gum, that's for sure. And I will definitely be filling more holes. Like, it was crazy. Every time I stuck my hand down in the ground, literally every time, I would, there was, that was a hole. It was, there was a tunnel or there was a hole. Every single time, anywhere I stuck my hand, there's a hole or a tunnel. We are infested. Okay, so spread the granules over areas not yet invaded by the moles. I have to start this in a spot that's not been invaded by voles yet. I don't think that spot exists. Okay, I see where they're coming from though. You start in an unaffected area, you sprinkle it out, the next day you come back. Oh, I gotta water everything in for 10 to 15 minutes after the application. Well, that's good. I mean, my garden really needed a watering. So water it in 10 to 15 minutes after application. 
spread the granules into more of the affected area second day more of the affected day the third day more of the affected day you know the fourth day and so on and so it says throughout the process punch holes into the mole tunnels or or roll tunnels uh every four to six feet and place two to four tablespoons of the granules directly into the tunnel I mean, I could spend the, I could use this whole bag and just put it into the tunnels. Like, there's so many tunnels everywhere. I might need to get like eight bags of this. This is ridiculous. <sighs> so this is gonna make the voles move away. So if you do it all at once, then I guess they just kind of freak out and, and stay where they are. But if you do it in one area, then they'll they'll be like, ew, this is gross. And then they'll go to the next area. And then you sprinkle that area and they'll go, ew, this is gross. And then they'll go to the next area and then they'll go, ew, this is gross. Until you get them out of your garden. So let's get spreading. I'm thinking that maybe, maybe the unaffected area would be like this top area. I mean, it's it's got stuff in it. I know there's voles in it, but it's not as bad as what's in here. So I guess I'll start there. I mean, that's the best I can think of. It's, we'll see. Okay, well that's gonna do it for tonight. I'm gonna go get the the hose and I'm gonna spray this down. And I talked about it with my mother-in-law and she's of the same opinion that this needs to get watered in. And I know we're kind of trying to save water, but I think there's gonna be a rainstorm tomorrow. That's what the weather's calling for. So this might be the time where, you know, it's a more okay to use our water right now, even though we are in the middle of a drought, so. Maybe Edward's getting a bowl right now. Wouldn't that be excellent? Okay, so I'm going to water that in before it gets dark. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful night. I hope that um, <laughs> if you guys have any more ideas on how to take care of this situation, let me know. Uh, everything that I did today is something that I got um, as, an, uh, as an idea from you guys. Um, I, was, I was hopeless, almost. Uh, the other day in the last video that I posted um, where it's okay to fail and and you guys you you really you encouraged me so much and you gave me some great ideas and so I'm doing all of them <laughs> and uh, I, I bet there's gonna be a big difference now so thank you so much I hope you guys have a wonderful night please hit that like subscribe notification all those wonderful things that really help support the channel and you guys stay blessed Thank you.